right. I am here with Dan and Chelsea Geesling. Chelsea, I think uh, you know me pretty well. You were my co-host on the Merch Show. Mm -hmm. Now you're in my neck of the woods. What do you think about Toronto? Oh, it's fabulous. We're having a great time. Dan, I have a bone to pick with you. Let's pick it. Okay. I want to find out what happened with you making me assign those four people slop in the Media Day game. Now, as everyone knows, the motto for Big Brother is expect the unexpected. So with that in mind, it's time for your first surprise. Mertz Jaffer, please stand up. Yeah, he said your name. <laughs> Mertz, you know everything in this game happens for a reason. I need you to select four people. It's a very important decision. You have 20 seconds to pick four house guests. Do that right now. You four. Wow. Yeah, three seconds. <laughs> Are you already lying? <laughs> Okay, Mertz, you just completed a daunting task, and I know making decisions in this game is not easy, but the four people you've selected get to spend the rest of their time in the Big Brother Canada house eating slop. I feel like you were trying to like pull one over on Mertz. What happened? Well, let me ask you this. In your blog that you wrote about, you know, your whole, it's a really big experience that you wrote. I mean, it's like a six page dissertation. 4,000 words. There you go. Yeah. At the very end, you, you left me a message, and what did that message say? Uh, I think it said, I, I don't remember, I wrote it like a week ago. P.S. Dan, I'm so mad at you. Is yeah, because you, you cost me my game. That's, you blamed losing on me, right? That's exactly what happened. Well, the thing I have to say to you, Mertz, is there's about 25 other people that have experienced that, so welcome to the club. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry we can't all be winners. Sorry we all, we all can't be runners up. Dan, I want to find out like what's been happening to you since the show. I feel like you've given up coaching now. You're like, are you Mr. Reality? Are you sort of giving me a run for my money? No, you're obviously the, the world's foremost expert in reality TV. That was until you didn't win Big Brother Canada, the media edition. But um, no, that being said, I've, I've been fortunate enough where I'm getting booked to, to speak at a lot of colleges, everything from my reality TV experience to leadership. And it's been a lot of fun. And obviously having a very supportive wife in Chelsea makes it really easy for me. Chelsea. Nice <laughs> Chelsea, tell me about Ian winning. Like, I, you know how tough that was for me. What was it like for you watching it back? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I mean, we all kind of saw it coming when we were counting the votes outside of the house. So once I saw that Ian was in the final two with Dan, I would have been very surprised if Dan won. So watching live, I kind of knew that was what was going to happen. Dan, was the jury just bitter? Like, just call a spade a spade, okay? Why can't these people just reward the best player? Why can't they just do what everybody wants them to do? I think, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot that's involved in picking a winner. And it, it's, it's just a lot of things have to fall the right way to win the show. Mm -hmm. You know, I can even say that about the first time I won. Everything has to run perfect. And for me, it just didn't fall in the right direction that I needed it to. And there's nothing else you could have done. No, really. And that's that's the thing. A lot of people in Big Brother play the Big Brother what if game. But honestly, and I, I know you're, you're big on you hearing the same answers all the time. But honestly, I can go to bed at night knowing that I did everything I possibly could. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I would have changed is I wish I had a longer time to talk to the jury, but that was part of the format that I agreed to. So I completely understood. Do you feel like you are now the best ever? Because I feel like it comes down to pure placement. And if it's you versus Will, I mean, now you're, you have a better record. Well, you're the expert. So you tell me. I, I do feel like you're the best. You're the best ever. Now you're here for Big Brother Canada. What do you expect from this edition? Do you think it's going to be different than the States? Do you feel like all they're going to be eating is slop and poutine? <laughs> Actually, I'm really excited about it. And obviously, when they reached out to me to get involved, I jumped to the chance because I love Big Brother. But on top of that, you know, Big Brother Canada is doing this the right way. And, and I know, you know, I've talked to some people in, outside of Toronto and they were a little concerned about, you know, we talked about some reality TV editions of, of the Canada ports of it have been, you know, per, you know, pretty poor. Mm -hmm. But in this case, there's a lot of money invested in this. The house is awesome. I mean, you got to experience firsthand. I mean, you tell me, you lived it. I mean, it, I, I, it's amazing. It, it wasn't a knockoff edition whatsoever. That's the thing. How do you think it's going to do, Chelsea? Oh, I think it's going to do great. Just with all of the things we've been doing in the last couple of days, it's been extremely professional and very well done. And it seems like there's so much hype around it. So it looks good. Here's my statement you need to stamp. Unless someone gets murdered, or if someone accidentally dies in the Big Brother Canada house, I think this show is going to be around for a very long time. And, and my final question, are you ready? Here comes the Barbara Walters. Sure. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. My feeling on Big Brother is that it's harder to win than Survivor because Survivor, it's like one immunity idol. You know, it's a lot. You can plan for it. Big Brother, it's random. You know, like there's the veto and then there's Pandora's box. Is one show harder to win than the other? 
In my opinion, yes, because, you know, we've talked about this extensively is, is Survivor, you, you're really able to manipulate the numbers because there's only one variable, you know, and, and that's the idol. And in this case, you know, with Big Brother, there's so many things, you know, there's a component of luck, there's a component of understanding how to read people. But to me, I think you can really separate a good player from a great player. And I'm hoping to see some tonight in the premiere of those who don't have to rely on winning a competition, you know, whether it's a veto challenge or an HOH to survive. And I think if you can see people start gaming like that, it increases your chances exponentially to actually win the game. Now, we're going to reconvene here after the premiere. We're at the Big Brother Canada premiere party, so I will talk to you after the episode with what you think. Dan, if you want to win points back with me, and believe me, you need some, I feel like you should be picking AJ, okay? Like, you better be picking AJ. Here's the thing. You need to win some points back with me because I'm a big fan of what you do in all your blog posts because you know what you're talking about. So I read, you know, your your 4,000-word dissertation, and you called the greatest alliance of all time Chilton, which I have a bone to pick about. Are you going to say Renegade? Here's the thing. You know, Memphis and I both, I considered winners because neither of us, you know, we've both placed in the money. And it only took us one chance to do it. So, you know, whether that's a challenge to Chilltown and... You well, know. Chilltown has two winners, though, Boogie and Will. But how many times did it take him to do that? All right. So. All right. Well, this could go on forever. Dan, we, we have a show to watch. Yes. So uh, we'll reconvene right here, same place, same merch channel, right after the show. Very excited to be here. Thanks for the interview, man. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Especially after that backlash on Twitter. Dude. That's typical journalism. You misquoting me, saying that I picked someone to win. You did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I, I yeah. specifically have not mentioned who I wanted you, to win. You said to Alec. Research. You said Alec. And then I said he may have a chance to win. <laughs> but in typical Mertz fashion, you jump the gun and misquote. So that's why. No, you're just saying because I heard you say it. You're talking to that girl who said, oh, I like Alec. That doesn't you know, mean I, I, think... I, I like some other people, too. That doesn't mean I think they're going to win. Yeah, but your it's eyes like a... your eyes lit up like he was Memphis or something as soon as he uh, came there, on the there, There's no Memphis okay. in the house. Well, if there was, I would have picked man that. fight right now. Well, wow. okay. It's reality TV passion. Okay, here we go. So here with Dan and Chelsea Geesling, the Big Brother Canada premiere just finished. I want your thoughts on what you saw. Who's in the best position to win? What do you think about Suzette? Just give me the whole nine yards. Me first? Yeah, of course. You're the expert. Oh, yeah. I'm an expert? Okay. So I have only one favorite besides your friend, of course. But I think Kat is in a great place. You know, you know, Kat? She's I like, like she's my pick to go in the first two weeks. Oh, well, I'm going to go head to head with you. I think she's awesome. I think she's going to get along with boys and girls because and she's not like a blah personality and she's athletic. I like her. Who does she remind you of from a, a, li- big a little Natalie Martinez? I knew you were going to say that. I mean, it's very typical. They, It's very similar, very similar qualities. Who's Natalie Martinez. See? That's why she's yeah. not I'm the, the Mertz reality. Well. Expert. Anyways, Dan, Dan, tell me what you think. Yeah, super. I was very, very impressed. You know, I know that we've talked a lot about Canadian ports, and we talked about it before. And I think expectations were set for Big Brother Canada, and I think the doors were blown off that. I was really impressed. We were talking about the camera quality. I mean, they invested in some high def cameras. That it's very impressive. I really like the energy from the set and everything open. You know, like the house guests were flying out the door. Arissa had a ton of energy. Just a totally different feel. You know, it's kind of like that's the Canadian twist on it, and I loved it. And not not to mention the set was, you know, digital screens. Mm-hmm. They can morph yeah. that into whatever they want. It's really impressive. And what about who you liked? Like, who do you think stood out in that first episode? Because I've been waiting until this aired. I never asked you because I didn't want your, like, pregame. Like, now you've seen it, so now you're yeah. going to go on the record. Well, here's the thing. I have a small, I'd say, a group of people that I think are one of the four or five are going to win. Alec? But, no. And I was very disappointed right off the bat if you're a, you know, an expert or a PhD student in social psychology, and that's the first thing that comes out of your mouth, you're not thinking right. You know, it's just, and it's especially someone who's, who's an expert of the game, it's just a really rookie totally. mistake. But in terms of, I want to make sure, because what we see, any, you know, first episode of Big Brother, you get to see a storyline of four to five people and how they interact. You didn't get to see the full cast interact. So I, I have a good idea of, of... All right, stop ducking the question, man. That was like the most circular answer I've ever heard. Just give me some names. Some names? Yeah. I'm not going to give you the names. There's a small group of people. I just need to make sure I get their names right. Okay, then point them out here, okay, um, if you don't want to say their names. Point them out who here. Who I think will not do all. I, I think he's highly entertaining, but I'm, just for you, I'm, he's... Okay, I'm Gary's cross, next. Yeah, okay. So I'll give you that much. No, gi- okay, give me one person that you feel like is in a good position. I'm not even saying a winner pick. I'll tell you... I can't let Dan Giesling leave Toronto without getting like I'll a big brother I'll tell you who reminds pick. me of has little Memphis in him, okay. which, you know, take that for what it's worth. I think Emmett's a lot like Memphis. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. he's very low-key. I think he's he's very, 
you know, charismatic. I think people are going to like him, and I think he may squirt through this week. Do I have to remind you that he's on the block? It's stranger things have happened. But yeah, well, here's the thing you need to watch for. If someone, whoever survives this first week, if it's a big threat, once they, you get through that first or second week in trouble, you're going to be able to go very, very far without becoming a threat again. Look at Ian. Ian was in trouble early on. You, you get far if you av- avoid that first wave of danger, and I think he's going to be able to squeeze through it. Chelsea, uh, before I let you guys go, Suzette, I feel like Suzette and Chelsea would be friends outside of the house. So what did you think about her? Because she came out of nowhere, balls out, nominates like the two biggest guys in there. I loved her. I thought this was like Suzette's coming out party. Mm-mm, I think she made a really poor decision on who she nominated. I thought she should have picked two opposite people, so at least – they're going to be friends in the house. Those two guys. Are That's why she's friends. breaking them up. That's why it's so genius. Mm-mm. So they're both going to stay, guaranteed. I guarantee you both of them are going to stay. And, and then they're trouble. both going to go against her. So I would have picked maybe a super quiet girl or no. I maybe would have picked um, a really manly guy and maybe a more um, girly guy because odds are they might not be friends. So they're never going to team up and go against her. So I would have picked two totally different groups of people. So odds are it wouldn't She's be dangerous. two against one. She's yeah, dangerous. it's a good thing she wasn't in the house, right? That's right. I know she would at least beat you in the media day. by. Oh, she God, yeah, yeah. Would, I have, would somebody have told me to put her on slop? Hey, that's part of the game, right? You know. It's... Well, you know, that. with that being said, yes, it is. Because Suzette got, you know, a pretty big responsibility without winning anything. Yeah, so. I think she made yeah. a big mistake. Too. She made a mistake. Yeah, and I think she's emotional already that was hilarious to me it's like you know she has to she's like i have to stab people in the back and cut people's throats as tears are coming down her her face i mean it's like come on in episode one yeah Yeah. she doesn't have it in her which is sweet and endearing but you know just play your game and finally so big brother canada gets your seal of approval oh 100 percent. i would i would not be here if i didn't think it was going to be like this i think you know we talked about before unless someone gets murdered in the house it's going to be around for a long time where hey maybe you might even have a chance to play one day and why aren't you talking about brown power can you tell me a little bit about brown anil you're like not mentioning aj you're not mentioning my well, friend I think for the reason that like if you endorse someone it's the kiss of death so i mean oh. no matter how i feel about him because you're rooting for him he's not gonna win what's next for you dan for me yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be at the live show tomorrow and as you heard arissa i'm gonna be involved in a small way so i'm looking forward to being a part of the show and we might have to drive to windsor Every, three times a week to watch yeah, yeah. How are Big we Brother. Get the stream? I mean, you're gonna have to like hook me yeah. up and set I up your, your Skype. Proxy. Yeah. Pro- I, I got the proxy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're, dri- we're right. driving to Windsor. Okay, driving to Windsor is where we're gonna go. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Mer. Chelsea. Thank you so much. Pleasure. See you guys. And you should never do that. Ever. I always do it. That's why she's the co-host.